So today I'm going to talk about the two new ad formats that Google released this year. So I think it was February, the longer ad headlines, and then I think it was May that the URLs in the headlines came out. Uh, those are the two new ad formats, pretty straightforward, just like they sound, and then I'm going to go into more detail about how those affect your PPC ads. And then I'm going to talk about two different types of ad extensions, um, site links and product extensions. And then there's a couple others call extensions and location extensions that really fall into two of the other buckets that Kent mentioned, um, the mobile and the local ads. So a couple of the other team members are going to talk about those tonight. Really the ad extensions, just like it sounds, the extensions, um, the hint there is extending your ad, enhancing it, um, and really creating a bigger, uh, more impactful user experience when people interact with your ad on the search engines. And so a lot of you I know have not you know, managed PPC campaign so I think on the next slide it is shows an example of what a, well, maybe it's the next slide. So I'll explain it just really briefly, and then I'll show you and illustrate what that looks like. So typically text ads on the Google AdWords network consist of a headline, 25 characters, description, so it's usually one or two lines, 70 characters total, so you are limited in that character um, amount that you can have, and then the display URL, which is um, 35 characters as well. So it is fairly limiting, and what these, the new, ad formats and ad extensions add to your ad is that in this case you can have either longer headlines, you're not being limited to that very constrictive 25 characters, but up to 68 characters actually, which helps in cl increase click-through rate. Um, it's bolder, your headline's longer, it's showcasing more of a description of what the user is going to experience when they click through on your ad and actually land on the landing page. Um, and I'll show you an example of what that looks like in just a second. So longer headlines, and also really briefly if you go back to that, so the, the key benefits, like I mentioned, it's the longer, more enhanced headline, um, but only, and here's the, the key here, is that only some ads are eligible, and while Google does automate this, so they're automatically choosing which ads get the longer headline and get the up to 68 characters, only some ads are eligible. So this means that you have to have, um, the first description line needs to either read as, in a, as a full sentence or have correct punctuation, so a period, a question mark, an exclamation point. And then Google will actually tack that onto the headline with a, a hyphen and then create that longer headline. In some cases, and you'll notice on the next page, that these actually look a little bit more like organic results too, you'll notice, where there's a longer headline, you're not, you don't have this short um, you know, 25 characters up at the top. Um, and that can sometimes simulate either you know, that it's an organic result. More people do you know, click on those organic listings. Um, in some cases, the, it's bolder, so of course the click-through rate. Um, and then when we get on the site links, I'll talk a little bit more about how it simulates authority and just takes up more real estate. But for those of you who have never run a PPC ad campaign or created a text ad, this is really what um, one of the more traditional standard text, ad look, text ads looks like. So you have that 25-character headline, um, approximately up to 70 characters in that ad text, and then um, about 35, up to 35 characters in that display URL. Um, and of course, you can see that with the longer headline, um, with the correct punctuation, or at least reading like it's a full sentence, you can have up to that 68 character limit, which is pretty cool. And definitely, if you were to look at these two side by side, um, I think I'd click on, on this one. So, next page. And just again, just to illustrate how an ad is either eligible or um, ineligible, so in this one, you can see how it doesn't really read as a full sentence or a, a complete sentence. And so it's probably this one is not, in most cases, not going to have the, the longer headline. But this one up here where it has the get fast results exclamation point, um, and this is what it might look like. So, so key features of the URL in the headline. So this is the second new ad format that Google released in May. So it's tacking on the URL of the domain. So if it's Google, it's google.com and that URL. Um, and it brings that branding to, to the text ad where you know, most advertisers probably have never advertised like that in their ads because of the 25 character limit. In some cases where you wanna have the keywords in the ad because the keywords will be bolded. Um, and so with the 25 characters, you know, this is something that Google is adding on to that 25 character limit to test if it's going to increase the click-through rate, performance for advertisers, um, revenue, of course, for Google. Um, and this automatically is displayed, so it's not something that you can actually go into your account settings and choose to have displayed. 
Um, it's really a matter of having good quality ads that are ranking in those you know, one to three top positions, the top of the page real estate, um, that when they're in the, the top position up there, then Google, they're eligible to have that up to Google's discretion, really. And it is possible for both the longer headline, the extended headline, to appear with this. So you're also getting this huge, huge headline. In some cases, it even looks even more like an organic result, where it has the pipe and then the, um, the URL. And on the next screen, I'll show you what that looks like. So standard text ad, this is usually what an ad is going to look like when it's in that, that top box above the organic search results. Um, down below here, typically with the search results, you're going to have the 10 organic results or local results, results depending on your search query. Um, this pipe right here and then the URL is what's tacked on to um, the headline. So it's also giving users you know, a quicker, more impactful glance of what URL they're going to. So when you have a couple of seconds to capture someone on the search results page, they're scrolling down really quickly. Maybe they want to click on the organic results. Um, but if you can catch their eye with you know, what URL they're going to go to and it's trustworthy or it brings that branding awareness, um, you know, sometimes that URL is really what will, um, can, is the deciding factor in having users click through on that ad. So next slide. So now I'm going to get into the ad site links, which is one type of ad extension. Um, key features, of course, being that you can provide up to four links here in the search results. You can add 10 in your account. Only four, up to four, are going to actually show in your ad. But you can see here what I was talking about earlier um, was this is taking up more real estate, and especially with it being the top of the page, um, the ads that are eligible to have the site links are the ads on the top above the organic results. So essentially, when if you have site links set up, um, Google chooses to show them, you're going to be pushing down. I mean, you're expanding. You have a bigger top of the page real estate pushing either your competitors down, so now you're standing out above the competition, or also pushing down um, organic listings as well. And you can see that one of the benefits to this um, that from a relevancy standpoint is that if you were searching on you know, this example pizza store, you know, maybe you don't want to go directly to their home page. You're, you're hungry. You want to go to the order page. So you've actually are provided in one click um, that user to go directly to that order online now versus them having to go directly to your home page. You know, search, find you know, where do I go to order, and then you know, clicking through, you're taking them right to the page that they want to go to um, initially. So, and then this is new as well. It actually just came out last month in June, embedded site links. So very, very similar. You have, you know, the headline is clicking through to whatever landing page you have. But then you also have another site link within the actual ad text, taking them to, you know, it might be a landing page, a product page, um, anything, you know, of your choosing, really. And the way you get this set up is that when you add the site link in your account, um, this text here has to match exactly, your ad text has to match exactly the text that you put in um, as the site link ad text. Yeah? Where in your account do you set this up? Is it in the settings? Yeah, so actually on the next screen, Alex, if you want, don't mind going here. So if this, this may look familiar probably to about 50% of you guys. This, so the, what this is, is this is um, the AdWords dashboard. Um, this is where you go, you know, once you set up your account, you have your keywords, you've created your ads, and now you're running your campaigns. Um, you have all the tabs up here with which to manage your account, looking specifically at specific ad groups or keywords or ads. To add ad extensions, it's this highlighted tab up here. If you don't automatically see it in your account, um, you would go up to this little drop down here, and there's a, you would just check the box for ad extensions, and then it'll appear automatically in your dashboard. Um, in this, the drop-down on the left-hand side, very, very top, it gives you the four options for the call extensions, location extensions, um, and then product extensions as well. Um, so choose site links for site links specifically. And where it's highlighted, you just click Add New Extension. Um, and there's a couple of key factors to keep in mind when you're setting these up. So the order in which you enter your site links, you can, you can enter up to 10 site links. Only four are going to show at any given time um, on your, with your ad. But Google goes through and puts in, uh, shows the, the first one that you put in first. And 
They've recently changed it, so now they're also weighting in the factor of performance. So for example, if um, you know, the second site link down is performing better, they might put that one in first. So when they first launched, and I'll just really briefly, it was only the, the order in which you put them in. Um, but now it's the order. It's also the performance, so click-through rate on, on that specific site link. And then um, length of the site link. So shorter site links actually tend to take precedence over longer site links. So something to keep in mind as you're setting these up is that, for example, if this client, the franchise opportunities is really the, the top thing that they want people to be clicking through on. So that is obviously the first one that I've put in um, so to make sure that that one's going to be most frequently rotated into their site link um, at the bottom. And just a few more examples. So um, going back to that extended headline, you can see how with site links, the extended headline, how this all takes up more, you know, looks more um, eye-catching, authoritative. Um, and then on this one, you can see it has longer headline, also the URL in the headline. So you're getting probably in this one up to the 68 character limit, where before you were limited to 25. So that's you know, over, you know, t doubled the amount of characters that you can have in these headlines now, which is pretty cool. So next one. And then finally, product extensions. So you know, if you're an e-commerce you know, online store and you have products, product extensions are really the way to go. Um, and to set these up, you need to have a Google Merchant account. So you do have to, there's a second step to it, which is why it is one of the more advanced tactics that um, you know, is a little bit more difficult because you do have to go and set up a completely separate merchant account, get your product feed uploaded, and then go back through. And when you set it up in the Ad Extensions tab, you're linking the two accounts together but well worth it if you're selling products online. Um, and I'll show you how this looks on the next slide. So with this particular ad, um, with the Merchant Center account linked the, and the feed pulled in, it appears in the search results um, with a plus box there. Now when a user clicks on that plus box, it opens up in products. So this is even more real estate than just the site links alone. So with any competitors that are up there with you, if they're below you, if you're on the very top position, you're already pushing them down this much. Um, if you're in the middle, I mean, then you're, you're really front and center, um, really eye-catching. You know, this is definitely shown to you know, improve click-through rate. And you're not only improving click-through rate or performance, but you're also taking folks and allowing them to go directly to the specific product that they want to either research or buy. So, so to set this up, and then again, we're back here in the AdWords dashboard, um, Ad Extensions tab. To get to the product extensions, you would just go to that top left drop down and select the product extensions, and then Add New Extension. And then check to link your Merchant Center account with AdWords. And then you'll be good to go. And it's really up to Google. We'll decide when they feel that your ads are relevant to be shown with your products. Um, but again, if, you, if you're not setting this up, you're never going to have the opportunity to have your products shown and have, um, take up all of that real estate from your competitors. Um, so definitely recommend both of these types of ad extensions. And then finally, on the next slide, um, Google recently added mobile compatibility with ad extensions. So on the left, we have the or product extensions. So similar, but on the mobile phone, um, pulling it up, the plus box, you can hide or unhide to see the products. And then even more uh, cool, I would say, local product ads. So with the geolocation capability of your smartphone, um, depending on your business and if you have products available in local stores, um, it'll even show the local availability of your products um, in stores nearby to where that user is. And you know, Google's recent user study on smartphones, I mean, 79% of people are using their smartphone to research products, um, check prices, find them in stores. So with this functionality, um, it's really cool 